You know, we're off to a good start. We're going to be emphasizing uh, increasing wages, benefits, also giving people more flexibility with their job, and of course, like a lot of other places, we're fighting against privatization and also understaffing. You know, our members are behind us, and so we are definitely hoping that we will be able to receive the, the increases that, that we're asking for. So we're only asking for what's right, what's just, and what's fair. And we need wages to keep up with inflation, um, so we're not taking steps back for our wages. Our, our workers serve the public sector. Uh, it's really valuable, the services they provide, and we need, to, we need wages um, to keep up with that. The cost of living in Ventura, I just read on the news that it's on the top five, not just of the state, of the nation. And imagine, we work here, we live here, we have to pay those prices. With the salaries that we get, think about it. So another priority is benefits. So our members are concerned that we negotiate an increase in the county's flexible credit allowance. I used to say it's the dirty little secret, but it's not such a secret anymore that millions and millions of dollars are contracted out um, to companies, corporate entities, and it takes away from good union jobs, with good wages and benefits, so we're trying to expose it. And at the same time, you have understaffing of these vital community services while you're paying someone more to do a job without benefits. So we're trying to expose it, we're trying to attack it, and we're trying to do away with privatization. You want to have a voice in this country, in this state, in this county? It is important to defend and not to go private. So why are we sending our money out of state where we can hire our own people? There's a lot of people that are out of work that we can employ them. Even the hospital workers, they're contracting out even the, the, the maintenance, the cleaning. That's got to stop. We proved that we were able to work from home and it was, you know, without losing productivity, without, you know, we were still able to get our jobs done at home. And so a lot of our members, you know, want to continue that. It's important um, that we give people the flexibility. There's health and safety reasons. There's also reasons, you know, conserving energy, less cars on the road, less electricity at our offices. But we're really pushing hard for flexible work hours. Uh, we know that people are just as productive working from home or from mobile spots as they are from their office. Our members are also concerned about paid leave. The concern is having enough paid leave for, let's say, the birth and adoption of a child or to take care um, of a sick family member. Why did you take the stand? It's all in the mindset. When we fight, we say in the union, we win and that is an assurance. So together we stand, together we negotiate, together we have and carry conversations. Not just for us, it's for our people, for our families, for our communities. So let's get this done and let's get it together.